What does it take to be a better public speaker? I'm gonna walk you guys through three different versions that I typically use in my speaking. And I'm gonna show you any tips and strategies that I can impart to you that will help you with your journey of becoming a better public speaker, of dealing with that fear, that anticipation, that anxiety, and just what you can do to own your confidence and your ability to speak. Now, number one, I typically, when I'm speaking on these YouTube channels, a lot of times I'm kind of speaking to myself. I'm speaking in my own head. And as I'm talking about these things, I'm really just like going through my own thoughts and saying, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And I don't worry too much about the audience because I have these things that I'm trying to communicate and it makes sense because I'm actually teaching myself out of most of these videos. That's why I started this channel with Limitless North was to teach myself the things that I had been learning and to really put them into practice. And so a lot of the times I'm actually talking to myself when I talk here. But that may not be the absolute best way to do public speaking. And you know, one thing that I wanna show you guys is if you open up, if you're more of a wide open, you show the actual bottom of your palms to the camera and you talk like this, it's a lot more inviting to the people that you're speaking to as opposed to being closed off or you know like right in here it doesn't give as much confidence but if you open up and if you stand big and you walk around and you use your space a little bit and you just remain open that is when you're gonna have a lot more confidence a lot more presence a lot more power in what you're doing okay the next way that I will talk when I'm in public speaking is actually envisioning one person in my audience and so if I'm talking to you and I envision what you look like and I know exactly the struggles that you're going through and the pain that you're dealing with and the things that you're trying to figure out in your business and you know what, you're actually watching this video right now in the middle of your work day and you want nothing more than to go apply these things that you're learning and to become better and to actually experience more success in your day to day, but you don't. You watch a video and then you watch another video and you think, yeah, that sounds great, I'm gonna go apply that, but you don't. You watch another video, you click another video and you just keep going. And then you finally get to a point where you're so disgusted with yourself that you push your computer away and you stand up and you say, I've got to go get some work done or I'm never gonna change my life. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you because you're just like I was. You're just like I am some days. And I want you to be inspired. I want you to do things differently in your life. I want you to take real action. And I want you to change how you're being and I want you to learn to be efficient and effective and to put these things into practice. And that's why I teach you the millionaire success habits. That's why I teach you step by step the things that I have learned to become more successful in my life, to increase my wealth. You have a right to be rich. There is nothing separating you from becoming wealthy and successful in life and living out your greatest potential and giving value to the marketplace and becoming a man or a woman of high integrity. There's nothing stopping you from being that except for your own limiting beliefs and except for your fear. And so we need to overcome that and I need to take you from a place of zero, of self-doubt, of lacking self-worth, of low self-esteem, of frustration, of confusion, of I want to be an entrepreneur, but I can't even make a dollar. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to take you from that place and get you to a place where you are fully able to be successful, to earn more, to understand what success is to you, to see what's important to you in your day-to-day -day life and inspire you to do those things, to have a greater impact, to fully immerse yourself in personal development, to learn the things that will shortcut your own journey to success and help you pay yourself first as an entrepreneur, help you put money aside as an entrepreneur, and help you actually grow your wealth. And so you see the difference between those two ways that I'm talking is that I'm actually envisioning the person that I'm talking to. I know who you are because you're watching this channel and you're just like me and so I can really form one clear vision of who I'm talking to right now and what you need to hear me say. And, and I can speak directly to your pain points and the problems that you need solved and I can talk to you about what's important to you. And so a lot of times I'm hoping that what I'm saying when I talk to myself is important to you because it's important to me and I'm learning something out of it, but it's more that I would just consistently clearly communicate my thoughts and make sure that what I'm thinking goes out onto video and then whoever that's for it can be for. 
But the difference is if I envision who you are, I know that I'm speaking to you and I know what you need to hear and I know that I have to get loud and I have to get passionate sometimes. And I have to really challenge you to change and grow. And so those are the differences. Those are the two kind of ways that I will speak in public. And then the third way is to just envision an entire audience that I'm teaching as if I'm a teacher and I have very clear points to communicate to you guys and it can be more quiet and simple and distilled down but not so intellectual over here where it's in my own head and I'm just trying to make sure that every point that I'm saying is exactly what I want to say but over here when I'm speaking to an entire audience in a classroom and I have very clear points that I want to distill to you I can pause and I can take my time with what I'm saying and I can make sure that things really sink in to you as I say them. And so, are you impacted by the things that I say? Do you understand where success comes from in life? Do you understand that you do indeed have a right to be rich? That the number one reason that most people don't become successful or rich in their life is because it never occurs to them to do so. Most of you have grown up, most of us have grown up in a place where we don't know rich people. We don't have success surrounding us at every level and so we only can rise to the level that we're familiar and comfortable with and we think that if I could just reach that level I'll be fine in life. That could be alright. Most of us don't challenge ourselves enough. We don't get in the room with people who are great achievers and entrepreneurs and so what I want you to do is to raise your level of thinking and say you know what there is nothing that stops me from becoming wealthy and rich except for me, except for what I'm willing to challenge myself to do. Because there's rich people who came from every walk of life, who had great families with lots of money, who had nothing and were born on the street. There are lazy people, there are hardworking people, there are people from every walk of life who have become rich and wealthy. And so what is stopping you? You indeed have that inherent ability and right to become rich. And so you need to first establish that principle for yourself that you will be that way, that you will make a decision to become wealthy in your life. And then once you've made that decision, the next thing that we need to do is decide what is success. What level am I going for? What defines success to me? What kind of life balance do I want to have that's going to be the good life at the end of all this? And then what do I need to learn? There are certain skills and knowledge that I don't have that I need to learn and develop in order to become as wealthy and successful as I desire. I'll tell you that as I was going through life, there were a lot of things that I didn't know. As I was running my business and I was grinding away, I used to pride myself in all-nighters, you know, especially as a graphic design student at the university or at Montana State University. It was common for us to pull all-nighters consistently, and so I prided myself on my work ethic and on the fact that I could stay up for days straight and do work. How stupid is that? If I would have just focused on becoming more, per, uh, more effective and efficient and proficient at what I was doing, I could have cut out so many late nights. I could have got so much more done. I would have had way more time to work on my business. Where are you at with those things? Are you staying up way too late? Are you working on your grind? Are you priding yourself on your work ethic, which nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. But are you priding yourself on how many days in a row you stay up late? On how you don't have any friendships or any time to work or play because all you're doing is focusing on your goals. I'm here to tell you that may not be the ticket. You need to learn the things that you don't know so you can become more efficient, more effective, more, pro more proficient. Alright guys, so you see the difference there. I talk to myself and it can be very clear and consistent but kind of quicker and I'm just making sure that the things that I want to say are getting out there very clearly and that can be impactful but if I'm speaking to you directly I can get more emotional, I can be more involved in it or I can view myself as more of a teacher of an entire audience. I don't have to envision just one person, I can envision everyone and just kind of talk from more of a teaching point and let things sink in deeper. And maybe make more exc exc exclamation points when I'm doing that. And so a couple of tips for you to remember is you can go through all those. You can actually fluctuate. But it's really important that if you are going to talk to one person in the audience, you want to fully understand who that person is. You want to create an image of that person out there that you're speaking to.
And then you want to envision him while you're talking and you want to make sure that you're speaking to the things he needs to hear. If you flub, if you mess up, if you stumble on your words, take a deep breath. Reset and go right back to it. You don't need to apologize for it. You don't need to stop the show. Most people don't even realize when you start to stumble. But in our own heads, it seems like such a huge issue and such a huge, you know, uh, stopping point. But don't. Just keep moving. Take a deep breath. Realize that you are in control of the stage. The more comfortable you feel up here, the more presence you have, the more ability you have to just open up and let it sink in. And whatever mistakes come, it's okay. You're still going to deliver amazing content. And at the end of it, people are only going to remember the things that impacted them. Unless you make it very obvious or obvious and evident that you're making mistakes, all right? So don't be afraid to reset. Don't be afraid to just pause and take a deep breath and then just get back to your point. That pause to me seems like an eternity, but to you, it's very quick on video. It doesn't even matter. Or on stage, it's no big deal. And then just be very aware of your presence. Be aware of the people you're talking to. Make eye contact, but if you're too nervous, just look above their heads, look past their heads, and they'll still think you're talking to them. And if you're talking to a camera and your camera shine, you don't know what to say, just get into your own element. Just own the world, own your own space. I don't need to talk to the camera. I'm, I'm here on the stage and I'm just talking about things that are important to me, that matter, that will make a difference when people are public speaking. And I don't have to worry so much about where my eye line is or am I staring directly into the camera. I have to worry about just being comfortable in my space and teaching the things that I want to teach and talking about what I want to talk. And then body language. Then you can worry about like, how is your posture? And are you opening up? Are your palms facing? Are you, are you wide open? Or are you hunched over and nervous and scared? And, and what emotion does this communicate to you right now? And I'm more closed off like that. Or passionate if I'm leaning in and I'm trying to really communicate something to you. And I'm doing things with my hands or really just leaning into the camera. Those all make a different impression on the audience. And so you need to understand what emotion is it that you want to communicate and evoke from your audience. So those are a couple of points, guys. I hope that that helps you with your public speaking. More than anything, it's practice. It's practice, it's practice, it's practice. If you have a specific speech, you can recite it until you understand it top to bottom, back to uh, front, left to right. Winston Churchill used to, you know, hours, hours and hours recite his speeches to himself until he knew them. One good thing you can do is, is just read them until you understand them fully, until you have them memorized, but then give yourself space from it for a day or so before you speak. Because what will happen is it's ingrained in you, but then new ideas are going to come and you'll know exactly where the talking points are and where you need to stay on track, but you'll allow yourself some space to break away from the mold and allow reality to come in and allow any new thoughts as you're present, as you're speaking, to come in that are necessary. Another thing you can do is just rememberize, or remember and memorize an outline to your speech. The talking points, the main points. As long as you hit these five things, you're communicating well. So you don't have to worry about the details. You don't have to worry about every single word. You just want to communicate these five talking points. There's lots of different ways to do this. And then sometimes you can just get up here and wing it because you know the subject so well. So I would encourage you to understand your subject, but if you don't understand it, then write an outline. And if that outline's not good enough, if you're a very detailed person, write out every single word that you want to speak and make sure that you deliver it exactly as you wrote it. And sometimes that can be the most powerful, but sometimes you don't leave room for emotion in that. So that's it, guys. I hope that this helps you and uh, gives you some very clear tips on becoming a better public speaker and having more confidence on stage, having more comfort on stage. It's really about just owning your own presence, owning your own space, being comfortable where you're at, and making sure that you're communicating the points that are important to you to communicate. All right, guys, I'm Makai Block with Limitless North. God bless you. Have a great day. Catch you on the next one. Hi, I'm Makai Block. Welcome to Limitless North TV. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You might ask yourself, why should I? Every week, I'll be developing and delivering quality videos focused on helping you become a high value, high achieving entrepreneur, to earn more and increase your income, to build and grow your wealth, and to make insightful and impactful changes to the way that you live your life and run your businesses. You will be challenged. You will be inspired. 
I will motivate you to hit that next level in your life, to overcome your obstacles, and to quit struggling through your mediocrity. But most importantly, I'll be developing and delivering strategies and ideas, tips, tricks, habits, and tools that you can begin implementing in your life today to see the success and the change that you've been hoping for. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a single episode, and I will see you on the next one. I guarantee you and I promise you that you won't regret it. Welcome to Limitless North.